All right, let's see how you did on CFU number four. Y equals three times the absolute value of X plus four minus five. So our A value is three. Our H value is X plus four, so it's X minus negative four. So we know that H is negative four. And our K value is going to be the negative five. All right, so what's our vertex? That's right, it's negative four comma negative five. Let's plot that. So I'm gonna go left four, one, two, three, four, down five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so my A value is three, it's positive, so the A value, I know it's gonna open up, and the slope I'm gonna use is three, so I'm gonna start off by going uh, up three and right one, let me change colors. So up three, one, two, three, right one. Up three, one, two, three, right one. Up three, one, two, three, right one. One, two, three, right one. I'm done. Off the graph, right? Okay, let's go ahead and put our axis of symmetry in. Our axis of symmetry is x equals negative four. So the axis of symmetry is not part of my graph, so that's why I use a dashed line so you don't confuse it with the graph. But um, we're going to mirror the other side. So let's use, use pink here. All right, so one away, one to the right. I go one to the left. Two to the right, two to the left. Three to the right, one, two, three to the left. Oh, Four to the right, it's off my graph. I don't need to graph that part, so I can stop there. So your V doesn't have to be perfect. You can have uh, Vs, depending on how much your graph you have to show, you're not going to have it nice and symmetrical all the time. So let's draw this one so you see it. Um, let's use this. All right, so I'm going to try my best here with the mouse. I go down to here. Boing, it bounces out the vertex. And it comes up, 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 and away. All right. And there it is. All right. That's it for graphing an absolute value function.